Hi, my name's Eugene Ware and I'm a part of the Market Samurai team. And I'd like to talk to you about today um, about a great product um, put out by Google called Google Docs. And what Google Docs is, is it is like having a, a complete office productivity suite of software like Microsoft Word and Excel and you know, the Microsoft Office suite built into your browser so you don't need to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on, on this software. You can simply do all this uh, editing, creating of documents um, online within your web browser and you also have the ability because it's all online to share these documents with other people so they can collaborate and work with you on documents and view um, documents that you've created. So let's um, get started and I'll show you how to start getting access to the Google Docs environment. Alright, I have my web browser here. So the first thing you need to do is simply just go to the Google Docs website. And that's really easy to remember that it's just docs.google.com. So I'll click that, put that into my browser, and um, it gives me this login page. Now, at this stage, you should already have a Google account. If not, you can sign up here and get one. Um, but I'm going to assume that you already have a Google account. So just simply put in your email address for your Google account and your password, and then you'll boom, you'll um, end up in the Google Docs environment. So from within here, you can see other documents that you have created. For example, I've got a spreadsheet here that I've created bef um, bef before, um, and also documents that you have shared with other people. So what I'm going to, go you know, going to quickly take you through is just some of the real core documents that you'll create usually in the, in the Google Docs environment. So if you see over here, you have this button called New, and if I click it, it gives me a bunch of different documents that you can create. So you can create text documents, uh, presentations, um, such as like Microsoft PowerPoint or Keynote files, um, spreadsheets like Microsoft Excel um, files. And um, I'm going to start with just with a real, really basic document, creating a text document. So I'll click that new document button here. And the first thing you usually want to do once you've created this text document is to give it a name. So I want to call this my first text document. Now you see that this looks like pretty much a, um, a word processor as you'd imagine. So you can type in things, you can say this is my heading and you can highlight that text and you can give it a style, a heading style. Um, you can, this is some text. You can um, do all your basic formatting, you can highlight text, you can bold it, italicize it, um, you, can, um, you can create um, um, you can insert tables. I'm going to show you one really cool thing here is you can actually insert um, documents. So I'm going to go ahead and go insert, uh, uh, sorry, insert a drawing. So I go insert drawing and it pulls up a little drawing um, a window where you can, strangely enough, draw stuff. So you can have, uh, I, can, I can draw like a button here, double click on and say this is a button. Um, click OK. Um, I can, you know, can put text and draw arrows, and I can just, you know, do all the normal things, and just, um, and I can even take this um, this drawing that I've done and export it as a PDF file or a PNG, which is, you know, common graphics format. So you can see here, I've got this PNG file based on that drawing that I that I created. So I'm going to save and close that because I want to insert that drawing into my document. And you'll see here that in this document that I've created is, is the image. Now if I want that image a little bit bigger, I can just simply um, select that image and click bigger and it'll make the document bigger. So I can hit save at any point in time. Um, now I, um, if I want to then export that um, to a format, like I want to email to some, somebody or something, I can just go to this file menu and I can go download file as and I have a range of different file formats that it supports. So PDF is a very common format for, um, for exporting. So I can click, click PDF and, and here I've opened up that document as a PDF file. Or um, for people, if you want to send an editable version to someone, you can go file download as uh, a Word file and that'll save it as a, a doc file and then I can then open up that file in Microsoft Word like that, um, which is great. And again, this doesn't cost anything. This is completely free and you can start using this today to create um, documents. Now, the cool thing about 
um, Google Documents is it doesn't just end there. It's not just an editor which runs in your web, web browser, but you can share this document with other people. So you can allow other people to get access to this file to edit it, um, even at the same time as you're editing this file. So if I come over here to this, um, this share um, uh, drop down and I go, hey, share with others, or so I'll click share with others, and I might say, hey, I want to invite my friend Brent to edit this document as well, and I just hit invite collaborators. Now, if I only want people to view my document, I can just hit viewers, but if I want people to edit, that's called a collaborator in sort of the Google Docs language, so I say, I want you to be able to edit this as well, and I just click invite collaborators, and it pops up a little email that says, hey Brent, here's a document that you can edit. And I want to say CC um, a copy to myself as well. And I can then hit send. And then Brent will get an email with a link that he can just go s jump straight into um, his web browser and start editing the file just like I, I, um, I have. So you can see it's, re it's a really, really easy, um, it's very, very easy for you to collaborate with other people. Now you might think, well, hey, what if they make some changes to that file? Um, how do I um, see what the changes they've made and the changes that, I, the changes that you know, I've made? And, and so if I hit save and close, and I, let's pretend that I'm Brent and I've gone in as Brent and I've, oops, sorry, that's not, the, that's not what I've wanted. Um, so I go, okay, my, so I open my document again. And let's pretend I'm, I'm um, Brent and I go, this is my awesome new heading. And I hit save. So now I've saved a copy of that. If I wanted to go to back to a previous version or, or see what someone else has, uh, uh, take a look at a different revision of the document, I can go to this tools menu and I go down here to revision history. And you can see every single like saved version, I think it saves it every couple of minutes, is um, um, is uh, is shown. So you see, it shows here that the actual change, and I've added this awesome new heading. This is some text thing in here. But I can even go back to a um, a previous version. So I can take a look at revision three. I can see, hey, this is the version like a previous version. I can even select, hey, the the the, the latest revision of that file and compare it to a previous version and go compare checked and you can see that the differences were highlighted in here. So it's really really easy just to keep track of um, changes that people have made to the, to the file um, and you can make changes and just not worry about losing anything. You can always go back to a previous version which is really fantastic if you're editing a file with other people um, in a collaborative environment and we use this all the time for just reviewing web copy and um, sales letters and emails and things and we just you know um, just make our changes and then it's always easy to roll back and you're not scared of losing anything. So I'll click to, um, save to that and let's take a look at another kind of um, uh, Google Docs document which is the uh, presentation. So I'm going to hit save and close. So you just go, so I'm going to create a new presentation. So it's a, like the equivalent of a Microsoft PowerPoint file or, or an Apple Keynote file if you're an Apple person. So I'll go new presentation and it creates me a new presentation. Now this is pretty boring, it's you know white, black text on a white background. So what you can do is you can Go over, let's give it a name first. So we click on the name, Untitled Presentation, and say, hey, this is my awesome presentation. Okay, now I want to change the theme because it's a bit dull. So you go to, sorry if you missed that, it was, I go to the edit menu, I select change theme, and I have a whole lot of you know, nice themes I can choose from. I'm going to choose this one, this one looks a bit interesting. Now I can then go and edit my presentation. So I can go, this is my awesome presentation. Um, Google Docs is awesome. I want, okay, so that's my title slide. Now I want to get, add another slide to this presentation. So I click this little plus button here, which adds a new slide. And I'm, I'm going to choose a, a, a text slide. And I'm going to say, this is my first slide. I'm going to add some content to this and say, and make, um, choose some bullets and say, this is a line in my first slide. 
here's another one. Isn't this easy? And I'm gonna create another slide, another text slide. Okay, this is my second slide. And go into my content area and then again click um, bullets and say, um, wow, this rocks. All right. Now, um, if I want to view my presentation, I can just hit this start presentation button over here. And lo and behold, it takes me into this presentation environment and you can make this full screen so it looks like a professional presentation. And I can just click these forward and back buttons to walk through my presentation, which is really, really cool. So when you're done with that, you can just close that off. And once again, you can share this with other people um, and you can even take this presentation and embed it into your website. So if I quickly go to publish and embed and say, hey, you can publish this uh, presentation to the internet. So I hit click publish. And see, so it gives you this little bit of HTML that you can copy and paste into your own web pages to get something like this. And so and you can go forward and back and share this with other people, which is really, really cool. So I'm done with this, so I'm going to go back to my main Google Docs uh, management area and you can see all the documents that I have and you can see that first document, I've shared it with Brent and I can go in and say, hey, show me all the documents that are shown, shared with Brent by clicking that uh, button down there. But I'm going to um, show you the, the last kind of document which I'm going to go through today, which is spreadsheets, which are really, really useful. So let's create a spreadsheet. So I click new spreadsheet and once again I can give the spreadsheet a name a cool spreadsheet and I can go and start editing the spreadsheet so I can have you know column one column two and I can put a bunch of numbers here two three four hundred two hundred three hundred four hundred I can sum up um, elements, so I can go, hey, I want to create a sum from cell B2 to B5, and, uh, and it sums up all the numbers. And again, remember, this is all free. It's all in the web browser. It's pretty amazing sort of stuff. Um, and what you can do is, you can again, you can share this spreadsheet with other people, so other people can modify the data in your spreadsheet, and it's really... Uh, it's really quite awesome um, and in fact when other people are editing at the same time you can even see their changes appear in the spreadsheet in real time it's really quite cool but I don't have time to really go into that um, today so I will um, then just, cl um, just close this off save and close and um, that's my spreadsheet so that is just a really basic you know, introduction to Google Docs. There's a lot of things you can do. Um, a lot, yeah, there's a lot more um, functionality that, that's available for you. And, but for teams that, uh, that are working together, this is really, really invaluable. We, we have you know, Google spreadsheets for, um, just for managing you know, lists of people and for, as I said, working with um, sales documents. And you know, particularly in the context of the 30-day challenge, you know, if you're working in a team, this is a really great way for you to share information, share pot potentially you know, articles and, and information and keywords. You can keep keywords, um, say, that you've exported from Market Samurai into a spreadsheet and just ideas and, and it's a really really great environment and again that price is completely free you don't have to spend a couple of hundred dollars on you know, expensive software so that's Google Docs I hope that's um, been useful I hope that you really you know have start extracting the value out of this this amazing free service